Uh, let me ask you a question really quickly. How many of y'all are actually from New York? from Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, yeah. I see some of y'all are looking at me like, who is this country motherfucker trying to get us to participate? <laughs> Just tell some jokes, nigga. It's coming. Oh, yeah. You know what, though? I really do know. I love New York, though. I really do. I've been here for a while, and I love New York. Y'all are so... Y'all are some badass motherfuckers, man. I'm telling you. Y'all are some hard asses. Y'all so straightforward. Like, so you know what? I decided that with this, with this one right here, with this little bit or whatever I'm doing, I was gonna be just as straightforward as y'all are, right? So I'm gonna tell y'all a couple things about me. One, which I'm sure you've already noticed, I love to cuss. Love to cuss. Love, love that shit just brings me joy. <laughs> I'm serious. But besides eating and fucking, cussing is what I love to do. <laughs> And if you're one of those people who's standing out there in the crowd like, mm, he is okay, but he cuss too much, fuck you. I'm a cuss. No, that's the one. Right? Number, number two is, I see some of y'all ladies out here are looking real good. I love it, I love it. Y'all looking at the sneaks, checking out the back was hat. you like, oh shit, look at him. I feel you looking like a thick ass uh, player on the wood. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> Don't worry, ladies, because it's not, it's not happening. I'm what the masses might call a uh, vagina challenge. <laughs> which, uh, which means that I don't fuck with them. <laughs> for all, <laughs> and for all the stupid motherfuckers out there, that means I'm gay. <laughs> Stop talking shit about us. What's wrong with <laughs> No, but you know, I, I have some things to say about, you know, us as the gay community here tonight. I know it's not often we, you, you know, we play or, or talk in front of a completely, almost completely straight crowd, so I'm going to let y'all know a few things about us. This first one is for all the straight men out there in the crowd. You know, it's 2012, right? You know, people don't get that upset when you're like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm gay. They don't care. It's almost actually kind of cool for a straight man to have a gay friend nowadays, right? It's like a cool thing, right? But I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. They've been trying to, we've been trying to deny it for years, but basically, they trying to fuck you. <laughs> they, they, they trying to fuck you. They trying to fuck you, it's on their bucket list, so you better watch it. <laughs> 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 my straight friends over there like, fuck that shit. <laughs> you told me you was giving me that massage because I look too. I'm telling you, that's the way it works out here today. Straight men love it. I know they do. And you know what else though? The we we as we as gay men, we do some things that are a little crazy, you know? I feel like my gayness is a little bit more chill, you know what I mean? I kind of chill with my gayness. I don't, I don't just headbutt your ass in the mouth with a Go away like, oh yeah, that is gay. You know what I mean? Most people are like, what you mean by headbutt? And I'm gonna tell you what I mean by headbutt. When I walk in somewhere, I, walk in somewhere, I usually be like, oh, you know, I might talk a little bit of shit. Like, oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, now I whooped your ass on the court yesterday. I did, I whooped your ass. And, you know, that's about it. You know what I'm saying? This, this is what headbutt means. I'm here, motherfucker. What? Use the bitch. Use the bitch. Hey, you, you definitely a bitch, but you my bitch, so you better call me bitch. <laughs> that's, the, that's what you call head the motherfucker. You walk away, you hurt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm going to let you know right now, I am just as cunty as the rest of these motherfuckers. <laughs> I can get it. I can get it. I can get with it. Let a Beyonce song come on in the club. What? I walk up in there and be like, oh, yeah, this one. Is that my bitch? Oh, yeah. what? Bitch? Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't play me all out. Uh, what? I'm Tyra Banks your ass to death. <laughs> you know 
know what? Everybody look at me sometimes when I'm up here and they're like, you know, see how approved, man. You're so nice. You're a nice guy off the stage. You, you work so hard. Why you got to cuss so much? I don't like that shit. Y'all got to stop that shit. I don't like it. What you trying to say? You trying to say nice people don't cuss? Fuck it. Huh? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Shit. That's, saying nice people don't cuss is like saying pretty people don't shit. <laughs> and I know that ain't true. It's a pretty girl. <laughs> no, but I'm serious though. Now, you're obviously very beautiful. So, so fine and divine. Let me ask you a question. Do you shit? <laughs> yeah, you gotta know you do. And that shit probably stinks too. <laughs> yeah. That's the moral of the story, people. Pretty people shit, nice people fast. I love y'all. Have a good night. Barack had to clean up after George Bush. 
And cleaning up after George Bush is no easy cleanup job, right? Yes, cleaning up after George Bush is kind of like being the janitor at a porno. <laughs> and the name of the porno is Three Guys, One Girl, No Condoms in Africa. <laughs> My point being, it's gonna take a lot more than bleach and lemon pledge to clean that up. <laughs> Uh, you guys ever wondered what it would be like if the internet existed all throughout history? Like, the Ten Commandments were printed on a Facebook status? Hitler spazzing out on YouTube videos and Jesus has a Twitter?